What's up guys, welcome to our channel Tej Advice. In this video, we will talk about duplicate file finder for Mac. We have tested 14 duplicate file finder for Mac, out of which we have found these free to use duplicate file finder for Mac. After testing all of these software, in this video, we just gonna explain you about these three software. These four software have some kind of limitation. So we are not gonna talk about this software as we have tested these three software and after testing it more than four to five times, we come to the conclusion that out of all of these seven software, these three software we have to recommend to our viewers on our video. So stay tuned and watch the complete video. Before going further, if you are new to this channel, then click on subscribe button. On the bell icon, select all and give a thumbs up if you like this video. And do let us know in the comment section if you find any kind of limitation while using this software. And there is one more thing. When we were testing these 14 duplicate file finder for Mac, we come to know that it's really hard to find any free application on Mac App Store. So we thought we should have to approach the viewers who love to have a free application on App Store. So if you think the free app have to be on the App Store and it's fine with you to show the advertisement on that Mac application, then do let us know in the comment section so that Mac application developer understand your approach and develop free apps for Mac users. Before we start talking about the software, I think most of you know that you cannot install the software from an external source. All the software we run and install on Mac PC have to be from App Store. So the first step we have to take is to allow the software to be downloaded from external source. So what you have to do Click on this Apple icon, click on System Preference, here click on Security and Privacy. Here you need to unlock this option, type the password. After unlocking, you see this option selected App Store. You have to select App Store and Identify Developer. After selecting this, close this window. Now you can install the software from external source. So the first software we have is Duke Guru. The link is given in the description if you want to download this software. But before that, I suggest watch the complete video so that you can compare the best software out of these three as per your requirement. So the first software we have is Duke Guru, a widely used operating system like Windows, Mac, Ubuntu and Linux. So once you'll download this software, you get this file downloaded. Double click on the file. You'll see this screen comes up. Double click on to crew icon. You get this information to click on OK. Just click on OK. Now here you can see the interface of to crew. In application mode, you have three options. Standard, music, pictures. Leave it standard. Any scan type, you get these three options file, content and folder, leave the content option selected. If you are using this software for the first time, you will not see this option selected. As I have all the duplicate file in my download folder, so it's showing up here. However, you will see the blank screen. So you just need to click on this plus icon. You will get the window comes up here, select your hard drive or the folder you want to scan. I'm selecting the download folder. Click on scan. Now you have two crew result page. Here you get four options. Details, dupes only, delta and the eye icon. I don't find delta very useful. However, I'll show you how it looks like. If you want to see any detail of any file, then you have to select that file. Click on that file and click details. As you can see the detail of this file. If you just want to see all the duplicate files, then click on dupes only. Here, I just like to tell you one more thing. 
If you are a first time user of this application or if you have searched on YouTube for duplicate file finder from Mac, then you might have seen the video of the same software. However, in that video, that person did not explain how you can delete all the files at once. But in this video, I'll tell you how you can delete all the files at once in Dooku so that you do not have to worry for searching that option. Alright, so what you have to do, you have to click on this edit option, click on mark all. Once you'll select all the duplicate files, click on this gear icon, remove marked from result. I'm not deleting these files as I like to show you the other software. So you can delete all the duplicate file with the use of do crew by selecting these options. Okay. Now the next option you get on the result page of do crew is Delta, which I did not find very useful, but the eye icon is really useful for you. Just need to select any of the file if you are not sure about deleting that file and click on eye icon to view that file. Like this, you can view the files and if you are not sure about deleting that files, then you can view it and unselect the option if you do not want to delete it. This is all about Dookru. Now let's move forward to the next software we have in our list is Duplicate File Finder. This is the interface of Duplicate File Finder. Click on this plus icon. If you want to add any folder, select your folder, click on choose folder and like this you can add the folder. If you want to add more than one folder, then you need to do the same thing. Click on plus icon, select the folder. That's how you can add more than one folder in Duplicate File Finder software. However, if you want to remove that added folder, you just need to click on this minus icon and you can remove that folder. After adding the duplicate files folder in this software, click on scan. Now here you can see the chart, how many mp4 you have and how many music files you have. Click on this duplicate files button. Here, if you want to view the files as you've seen in the two Peru software, you can view it here and all the duplicate files are listed here as you can see and the duplicate files and the original files are showing up here, both of them. If you want to delete all the files at once and you are sure about deleting that file, then click on this auto select option and click on review and remove. If you are sure about the file, click on remove and even after deleting the file from here, you are not sure about the files you deleted and you want to recover that file, then you can open the trash folder and recover all the files from the trash. So this is how you can use the duplicate file finder software. Now the next software we have is disk drill. The link is given in the description, you can download from there. And if you like to install this software, then drag it on the application. I just want to show you this software, so I'm opening this software. And one more thing I like to tell you while it's installing. We have tested this software four to five times on our duplicate files. As you can see, we don't have the large number of duplicate files. But even after that, we have tested this software four to five times on the same files by recovering it from the trash and scanning it with all of these software. Dookru is completely free, so we are 100% sure about Dookru, but we are not sure about these two software because they are offering you the pro version. So you might see some kind of limitation alert or something like that to upgrade this software. If you'll see anything like that, do let us know in the comment section so that we can share your comments, your advice with our viewers and they can understand the limitation of the softwares. Dookru is completely free, so you do not have to worry about Dookru. However, you might see a limitation in these two software. Now let's open the disk drill software. All right, as you can see, click on continue, continue, continue. Here you'll see some option. I already own a disk drill pro, activate now. Leave this option as it is. Unselect these options and click on get start and type the password. I think this software asks for you to install it. 
then and only this software will work. This is the interface of this software. I don't want to use any of these options of this Krill software. I just want to use find duplicate files. So just click on this option. Now here you get the option drag and drop. Click on add folder and add the folder where you have all the duplicate files. Now here as you can see the download folder is added. Click on scan and it shows you all the duplicate files here. Once the scan done, now you may be thinking how you can delete the duplicate files because you don't have the option to delete duplicate files. Here you just need to select any of these options. You can see if I select auto then it automatically select all the duplicate files. Once all the duplicate files selected, click on remove and you can delete all the duplicate files at once. So these are the software which we like to recommend you out of all these 7 software. We have tested the 14 software but these 3 we find best and free to use software. However, these software also provide you the free to use option but there are some limitation. If you want to read about this software, click on the link below and visit to our page and you will find the article about these softwares. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.